good. Okay, so I was watching this video by, um, her name's Allison. Her uh, YouTube name is, I want to say it's pronounced Amory. It's A-M-E-R-I-X-E. And then I think there's a heart after it. But anyway, she did this Vampire Diaries tag. And I just finished season three, and I freaking love the show. So I'm going to do this tag right now. Anyway, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So, first question. How did, by the way, this is my first tag video. It's pretty important. Anyway. Okay. How did you get into Vampire Diaries? So, this is what happened. I'm home, my day off, Chris is at work, I'm bored. So we have Netflix and everything. We still don't have cable in our apartment. It's really sad. But anyway, uh, we just have Netflix. So I was like, you know what? what I want to watch something different on TV. So I was like, let's see, what are these, this is, what are these freaking new vampire shows everybody's going all nutso about and then there was true blood on there and then i was like no nah, i don't really want to watch that one i was like what's that other one what's that other one and then i thought about it i was like oh vampire diary so i looked it up i saw that it was on netflix from episode one i was hooked i think i ended up watching nine or ten episodes that that like i just watched it all day and everything that was all I had on the TV so ever since then I was completely hooked and I'm like oh my god I understand why everybody's all like Vampire Diaries oh my god <laughs> yeah I totally became that way well I wasn't doing that like in my TV but I tell you this show is bomb diggity fresh just saying okay question two who's your favorite character freaking Damon Salvatore that's my favorite character okay well Obviously, he's pretty freaking hot. And I don't want to say that that's the only reason why he's my favorite character, because it's not. He's, uh, like, hilarious and so badass and everything. So, I don't know. I just really like his character. He's witty. He's hilarious and everything like that. So, yeah. He's my favorite favorite character because of all that. But ding, ding, bonus that he's fine. Anyway. Um, third question. If you were a vampire, would you live off of human or animal blood? I gotta tell you, I think I'd go with human. I don't know about the whole blood bank thing, but, you know, the way Damon lives it out looks pretty awesome. It's terrible to say that, I know. But if I were a vampire, I think I would really give in to that whole urge and everything. I mean, I'm pretty sure I would be like, I would only go after bad guys or something like that. People who really deserve it. So, I would live off of human blood, but I'd be really moral about it. Does that work? I don't think so. But that that's, I think, is how I'm, I would do it. Okay. Question four. Team Stefan or Damon? I'm definitely Damon. Damon, 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 Damon. I sound like I'm saying a bad word over and over and over again. Anyway. Um, yeah. I'm Damon. Team Damon. Because... As everybody has said, Stefan is safe and everything. And Damon's got that freaking edge that's just freaking awesome. So, um, Team Damon. I hear Chris in the kitchen, and I don't know if he's going to come in and interrupt my video. Anyway, okay. Question five. What's your favorite supernatural power? Okay. My favorite supernatural power has always been the same, but it, it's not anything that's in the Vampire Diaries, really. I mean, I've always wanted to be able to read minds. That was my thing. I guess you can consider that part of the Vampire Diaries because whenever, like what um, uh, Damon and Sage did to Rebecca, I guess that's like getting into their minds, so... I guess it does kind of work with that. So, yeah, I would definitely say reading someone else's mind and everything is would be my favorite uh, supernatural power. Um, question six. If you were a character on The Vampire Diaries, who would you be? Um, obviously, I agree with Allison's answer on this one. I would definitely love to be Elena because, I mean, she gets the best of both and stuff like that. And... Um, 
I don't know, just, she's, like, the ultimate, like, everybody's just like, it's all for Elena, but anyway, um, a lot of people were picking their favorite character as to who they're most like, there's not really anybody on the show that's really like me on there, no, no, there's not, so, I would choose Elena, <laughs> okay, and question seven, have you read the book series, no, I have not, um, um, I feel like my answers are very repetitive to a lot of other people, but, um, the book is, from what I've heard, is a lot, you know, there's pretty big differences between the show and the books and everything, and I really love how the movies, or the movie, I really wish it was a movie, they need to make a Vampire Diaries movie, how freaking bomb diggity would that be? Anyway, um, but, yeah, it's different from the series and everything like that, and I really... I got into it by watching the series, so I think I'll just stick to watching the series, not really, I don't think I would really get into the books, even though it would be interesting, because it's like, in the ways that it's different, you can still picture the same characters doing those things, so it would be like, you can create your own show in your head using that kind of story, so, I don't know, maybe eventually, after I finish my Hunger Games books, then I'll do it, <laughs> okay, um, question eight, who's your crush on the show, Damon, uh, question nine, what was your initial thought of the show and did it change after you watched it? When, obviously when I first heard about it, I wasn't in, you know, I didn't jump on the gun and watch the show from the, um, first episode, whereas everybody was just like, oh my god, Vampire Diaries is coming out, it's gonna be so awesome! So, I didn't really get into it from the beginning, I just thought it was just gonna be another vampire show and it was just gonna be the same old same old thing as every other vampire thing in the world Twilight no um and then after I watched it I was like whoa this is so different because I mean you don't expect the things that happen on the show to have happened like, the way they bring in the whole, like, 1912 or, like, back then and everything, how they brought that into the previous and with the originals and stuff like that. You don't think about stuff like that when you think about the vampires, you know? You just think of the usual blood-sucking vampire, and then they fall in love with a woman, and then that's, like, you know, in danger all the time, and that's it. But this actually has story, story to it. So I definitely love it for the fact that it is just completely different from what I thought it was going to be in that whole aspect, so, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely fell in love with it, okay, I was about to say chapter 10, <laughs> okay, question 10, who was your favorite villain, okay, I would have to say, as of right now, Alaric is my favorite villain, so, like, obviously, the, in the beginning, beginning, you could count Damon as the villain. So, you know, of course, at that point, then I could say that he was my favorite villain. And then season two, you got Klaus coming in. Of course, he could be your, he could be my favorite villain in that area. And then with the end of this one, and so the way, the way Alaric changed was, like, so, I loved it. I loved it. Like, I hate that he's bad, but he just does it so well. And you just, you want to root for him because of who he was before, so I just, I really love him as a bad guy, I just think it's so neat, so, um, that was all 10 questions from the Vampire Diaries tag, um, like, I always tell everybody to, if they haven't seen the show, or if they, like, have the reaction that I initially did when somebody mentions the Vampire Diaries, they're like, oh, uh-huh, another vampire series. No, I'm, I'm like, seriously. Watch it. Like, just watch the first episode and just, just, just see. Just, just look. Just watch. And, I don't know, it's just, to me, it's just the most incredible thing that's out on TV now. <laughs> Is that sad? No. Um, but yeah, I just, I just really enjoy the show. And if you haven't seen the show, you just, Anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough. So, um, if you guys want to, you can, um, if you can't make a video, then comment down below with your answers to, um, each of the questions. I'll go ahead and put the, um, 
put the questions inside the info bar if it allows me to do that because my phone won't let me have enough as much space as it would on the computer which is ridiculous but anyway that's how it is so I will try and put the questions down below if not then you could just when you go through the video just write them down like I did and um, post that or post a response video and everything comment on this video and check out my other videos and subscribe and do all that good stuff um, I'll see you guys in the next video bye